this um, video is on the 2017 paper for BS 242 okay specifically part D um, this question has some application of uh, combinations and this video is going to explain how you would apply combinations to probability so they're saying four persons are chosen at random from a group of ten persons consisting of four men and six women calculate the probabilities that the four persons chosen will consist of four women one two consist of two women and two men so how are we going to apply this huh? so usually when you're given a question like this and you have to find the probability what you need to know first of all in any given probability is this formula so generally this is the formula for a probability distribution so for just for probability so probability of an event occurring is equal to the number of elements in that the number of elements in that desired outcome that you want to occur and the number of elements or the possible outcomes in a sample space so given that information there what you can first calculate is the sample spacer huh? after you get the sample space you can also get the the number of possible outcomes that the desired event has so as we said why is it a why are we using combinations here there is no order required to pick those two men and two women they just said they want two men and two women no order was specified and the like and just from that analysis you would know that since there's no order required uh, combinations will be used so you do this the combination formula is n c r n this is the number of people the total number of people being mentioned here they've told us that they are overall they are about 10 so that's your n n is the overall number of people so you have your 10 there what is that part r is the desired number of people that one that you need to choose which is four you need four so right now remember we're creating what the sample space which is depicted by ns the total number of possible outcomes of choosing four people from 10 that's the sample space because it's from that sample space where we'll now try to now choose our desired outcome which i will explain next so given that's the formula to calculate the sample space huh? you then you punch this on your calc i'll just take the shortcut where you punch on your calc so 10 combination 4 to 10 that is your sample space now you found it if you still have that formula in mind if you rewind back in this video you'll find the formula yeah so we are now left with this part of that formula the number of possible uh should i say outcomes in that desired sample space which in this case given like an event uh, yeah of or a event a so the event they want us here in, in the first first scenario they said what is the probability of choosing four women just four women so how many women are there overall let me just check the question if you see our question here how many women are there overall they are about six and they want examples first start with example space consisting sorry calculating the probability consisting of four women so there are six women as we've said as we've seen there so let us find the total possible out so let's find the total possible outcomes of choosing four women which is going to be depicted again by the combination because the combinations where we use them they give us you know the total possible ways of that this experiment can be done huh? the all the possible outcomes that can occur that's why we use the order of combination yes that's why and um we have six women so that part where there is an n we put six the total number of people in this category so we put six combination we only need how many four women 
what is six combination for? Fifteen. So that fifteen is the total post boys that this uh, these four women can be picked. Fifteen ways. So now that you have those total ways, it's now going back to the probability formula. Probability of an event occurring is equal to that desired event, the total possible ways over the total sample space, which is 15 over 210. Yeah, the one we found. If you rewind back, you find the 210 that we got for the sample space, which should give you 0 0.07 as your probability. Then you've solved part one. Part two is saying the probability of getting two men and two women. Women, as we've just analyzed, their total is six, but we now need two. So, what answer will it give us? The total possible ways of choosing two women from six. Fifteen again. How about for men? How many men are there overall? Four. How many men do we need according to the question of part two? We only need two men. So, four combination two to find the total possible ways of choosing two men, six. And six is the total possible ways of choosing the men. So now they said two women and men. When they say and in probability, it means what? Multiplication. Yeah, so you're going to multiply the possible ways of two women times two men, which will give you 90. So that's the, the desired outcome that you want. Huh? The one which sits here in the probability formula the n a the probability of that desired event occurring over the overall sample space and the 90 sits on the desired event that one to occur which is the 90 in this case and so you say 90 over sample space of 210 should get 0 0.428 as the answer and that's all